All right, so today we're gonna kind of give this old girl a tune up. A side cover off here. I'm gonna put a new magneto, uh, negative lead on this battery. And we're also gonna seal up this valve cover because it's been leaking oil like crazy and it's getting expensive on oil. We might also do a uh, adjust the valves and get those back into spec too we'll see see how far we get all right so we're just adjusting the valves on this old alice and chambers i600 backhoe and i figured since i'm sealing up the valve cover might as well give it an adjustment so what we're using here is something called a rule of nine and what you do so this is cylinder one or valve one and and this would be valve eight at this side towards the back of the tractor and what i did is i bumped the starter until i got valve one starting to compress and then i turned my alternator bolt here until i got the valve fully compressed so when valve one is fully compressed you can adjust valve eight and and then when we also see here that valve six is fully compressed so what you do is you say okay that's valve six and i'm going to go back here seven eight nine we can also adjust this valve and so you just work your way around like sorry so once you spin the motor again and you have valve two fully compressed well two plus seven is nine so that means you can adjust valve seven and you just go through the motor like that until you have them all adjusted so right now we have uh, it was valve six over here is fully compressed as you can see it right there valve six is fully compressed so we're going to count seven, eight, nine. Now right here, this is an intake valve. You can see the exhaust ones have these, on my particular motor, have these uh, extra bushings or whatever you want to call it. This is an intake valve. So according to the manual, it's supposed to be eight to 10 thou. So I've got my feeler gauge set up. And as you can see, there's a lot of slop there. So we're going to adjust that. Okay, so remember valve six is fully compressed. So then we start at number one again. So seven, eight, nine, and you crack this nut loose, which allows us to adjust the adjuster. All right, so I'm gonna put my feeler gauge back in on this side and adjust this adjuster, adjuster until it's uh, friction tight on the feeler gauge. So you want to be able to slide the feeler gauge back and forth between here, but feel the friction. All right, so here we are back on this side of the motor. And I've got this valve adjusted. I can just slide this in here and I can feel some friction but it's not pinching it so that's perfect we're gonna keep going working through this motor and get them all adjusted properly remember that your exhaust valves have a different feeler gauge than the intake valves so make sure you get the two feeler gauges you need and just work your way through the motor following the rule of nine all right so i'm all done valve covers all back on we've got a new negative battery lead and one thing i want to show it just blew off it's nice and wet for you guys um it's kind of just on paper what i was talking about with the valves so one at the front of the motor, eight at the back. 
and these are each individual individual valves so valve one valve two valve three so if you have valve one compressed well one plus eight equals nine so that means you adjust valve eight and say you had valve four compressed well that means you adjust valve five and so you just work through the motor turning it over so let's say you start at valve one you get it completely compressed not kind of halfway back up but completely compressed down by turning the motor and then you can jump over and adjust valve 8 remember that different valves are different measurements so if it's an exhaust valve it's going to be a different uh, tolerance so anyway that's just kind of it written down on paper on the rule of nine and uh, it's just a way to adjust valve lash on a four-cylinder engine.